All summer, the Charleston Waterkeeper reports bacteria levels across our waterways to let people know where it's safe to swim. The group says after years of testing, those reports revealed that certain trends with some popular spots for fishing and boating. Melissa Rademacher joining us now along the banks of Philbin Creek in North Charleston. So Melissa, with this year's testing cycle wrapped up, what are the highlights? Well, guys, here on Philbin Creek, it's a hot spot, and that means that it failed the bacteria level test by having too much bacteria, and that was for every sample taken from Philbin Creek this year, and it's historically been that way as well. It's not alone. Shem Creek and James Island Creek also tend to test high for bacteria levels. Waterkeeper Andrew Wonderly says these trends help his office and other conservation groups petition leaders for funding to make changes and pursue cleaner water. James Island Creek actually passed the bacteria level test more times this year than last year. Wonderly says that's likely thanks to a couple million dollars in state funded cleanups in the past few years. So there's been a lot of investment in James Island Creek over the last several years. And so I think we're starting to see some benefits from that. It's everything from pet waste management programs to septic tank management programs uh, and uh, even looking at efforts to reduce sewer overflows in the watershed. The Waterkeeper has petitioned the State Department of Environmental Services to take a look at Philbin Creek here and create a cleanup plan for it. He says that is in the works right now. In North Charleston, Melissa Rademacher, Live 5 News.